In the world today, where problems such as global climate change and greenhouse gas emissions threaten to destabilize the world as we know it, where diseases such as AIDS and cancer shorten countless lives, and where the diseases we have cured are becoming immune to our treatments, and where, quite frighteningly, somehow some dead horse meat has gotten into our dead cow meat, there is one overarching question constantly weighing on the minds of every modern biologist. What if a giant Asian slime mold took over the world? Fortunately, science has not let us down. Andrew Adamatsky from the Unconventional Computing Institute in Bristol constructed a globe with agar continents. He placed oats, a favorite food of ambitious slime molds, at the locations of major cities. Mr. Adamatsky inoculated Beijing with the slime mold and then recorded its progress over the next few days. In running this experiment twice, he discovered that, although there appeared to be multiple ways to colonize Southeast Asia, the routes the slime mold took to reach Western Europe and the Americas not only were consistent, but matched about 75% of the Great Silk Road, the ancient road humans devised when they too felt the need to expand their borders. Slime molds have already been shown to be able to solve mazes in search of food, but never before has science used them to tackle heavy issues like world colonization. On top of that, the idea that human behavior can be adequately modeled by a slow, quivering mass motivated solely by food is, well, perhaps really not all that far-fetched.